collectively, artificial intelligence outperforms, I believe, the human element. We want to make sure that no matter what, it, it will do at least as much and better than the average radiologist in this case. We need to have a bigger engagement before we can actually start trusting the machine blindly. Uh, why do you feel that uh, there is a gap right now? Where is that gap? Is, is the gap in the performance of the technology or is that gap in the fact that the technology... You cannot really say where the mistakes are being done. And indeed, because it is a black box approach, the uh, radiologist is pretty much confronted with an end product, an end result. And there is no way for him to or her to confirm you know, uh, how good is it? Because he did not or she did not produce that. So why there is this uh, difference in treatment? Why artificial intelligence? If we use artificial intelligence, then we have to be able to explain, we have to be able to predict, we have to know exactly what the error is. If we use human beings, they can make mistakes anytime they want and they actually make more mistakes. Collectively, artificial intelligence outperforms, I believe, personally, the, uh, the, 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 the human element. So I do believe that these algorithms are indeed better in, uh, in, in doing the job that they do. However, due to very strict regulation on the, uh, on the area and on the field, if it is to take completely the human out of this uh, loop and, uh, and replace that with a machine, then the expectation is very high. Because you know, we, we want to make sure that no matter what, it, it will do at least as much and better than the average radiologist in this case. I see. So don't you think there is an element of uh, human psychology and kind of a phobia against the machine? I most certainly do believe that as well. The, uh, the, the average person that would visit a doctor would very much like to have a human-to-human -human interaction, the ability to ask questions, the ability to pretty much, you know, uh, uh, be driven through this process hand-in-hand uh, -hand with, uh, with, the, with the expert. So, Indeed, the phobia is uh, there whenever a machine is being involved. Do you think it's a really a phobia or it's uh, an evolutionary conquer? Because some of the neuropsychologists and uh, anthropologists that have studied the evolution of the human species and also the ones that study the brain, they say that our, if you like, instinctive nature is nothing else. This, I'm putting it very, very uh, simplified. It's like an automated train and algorithm that has been trained for millions of years and that makes decisions very quickly. Can it be that uh, it, it kind of sense or us pick data that indicates that there is something wrong in that? Well, yeah, the uh, most certainly I think our society did not involve, evolve enough around the idea of, uh, of machines intervening the way that we envisioned them to, to, to do. So. Um, I think that indeed it is an evolutionary thing and uh, you know the more that technology becomes part of our everyday life I mean it is already heavily involved but uh, we need to we need to have a bigger engagement before we can actually start trusting the machine blindly so what type of medical diagnostics do you work on I and my team work in uh, in imaging that comes from CT scanners or MRI scanners and uh, essentially we are trying to provide solutions that approach the, uh, the visualization challenge uh, from the 3D perspective, which is the natural way of seeing things. So we bypass the phase where things are done on an actual photograph. We are doing things in a volumetric space. There are two different types of challenges that we are being faced with. One is the ability of segmenting anatomical features that are of interest to, the specific to every specific case. And uh, second, on those features, on those uh, organs, for example, or, or parts of the body to be able to identify what is wrong, if anything is wrong.